The more I preached to them, the less they listened. They were outlaws now, and they didn't want my judgment. There was no longer any talk about rebuilding our home or our farm back in Georgia. As we waited for Juarez to return, the time dragged endlessly. Finally, Ray boasted of Marissa's promise to run away with him if he could get the medallion. He said he was taking the gold and the girl, and that no one would stand in his way. Thomas didn't say a single word, but I saw the fire in his eyes. He rode off in silence. Ray had no idea where he was going, but I did. Don't tell me. You shouldn't be in here. If the men see... Do you think I wouldn't find out? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You sold yourself to Ray for the gold. I didn't sell myself to anyone. He said he wanted the medallion, so I told him to take it. For himself? Or for you? For both of us. All of us. And what about Juarez? Ray said he would kill him. He's not the only McCall who knows how to handle a gun. But I don't want you to fight, Juan. I don't want you to get hurt. But it's okay if Ray gets hurt. I'm not in love with Ray. Lost and found. You done with it? Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go.
Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Well, fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son bitch. We're looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey without me. Barnsby? He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay for your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity! <laughs> Colonel Jeremy Barnsby never laid down his arms when the Confederacy surrendered. He raised an army of disaffected southern soldiers who weren't yet ready to admit defeat. He led his men west through Arkansas and Oklahoma, where they robbed banks, and trains, and hijacked supply convoys. Hounded by the U.S. Army, they were driven south to Mexico, crossing back and forth across the border, continuing to fight a war that had ended years before. Hunted down by the Pinkertons, Barnsby was captured in Arizona. He was awaiting extradition when my brothers unwittingly liberated him. I'll ask again. Why does Juarez need the weapons? There's three of you. So if I beat one of you to death, it's really not a problem for me. It's payment! For what? The medallion. Please, don't hit him anymore. William! He's gonna kill him, Ray! What medallion? Look, there's a legend about lost gold hidden in the hills outside Juarez. I've heard of it. What of it? The medallion is the key to finding the treasure. Juarez is exchanging the rifles for the medallion. My rifles? Yes, sir. But they're useless. He paid almost nothing because they're worth almost nothing. Who would trade for rusted old rifles that aren't worth spit? Apaches. War is, is swindling them. Is that where he's headed? Apache territory? Yes, northern Arizona. They have a guide. Good. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Hang him high. What about the boy? He needs to hang, too. For aiding and abetting traitors to our glorious cause. 
How did you know? Those rifles were useless. Who told you that? Me. So leave him alone. You? Well, that's interesting. And who told you? Can any of y'all move? <coughs> me? No, they tied me tight. You see that saw? Cut your binds and untie us quick. But I don't know if I can... Easy, brother. You can do it. All right, now us. Come on, come on, hurry up. Someone's coming. Ready. Someone's coming. Take the chair, it's the only weapon here. Son of a bitch, they're breaking out! Ah! They're running away! Don't let him get away! There's no Thank you, Lord. What now? Let's look around. You look around. Oh, brother, you jump and climb like a damn mountain lion. Me, I prefer firmer ground. You see a road? Yeah, downhill. <sighs> Great. Just don't expect me to do any running. Tramps? At last. There's too many of them. We gotta divide and conquer. Now! Coward! Oh! Nice job, brother. No one messes with the McCalls. Are you kidding me? Die, you bastard! These boys ain't backing down!
That's a drawbridge. Try to get over there and lower it. Cover me. Come on. I hit what I'm aiming at. Look out. This better be the end. On my signal. Like we're stuck. I look around. There's an elevator. Let's use it. Oh, fine, but I don't like this. That was a hell of a fight. Reminded me of the first battle of Bull Run. Yeah, them blue bellies broke and run like their pants was on fire. somewhere up there someone will have to trigger it I guess someone means me I'm sorry brother but I'm just not too good with heights well you're gonna have to learn because as soon as that elevator starts up you and William got to be inside it stay here and cover my ass I'm gonna do a little jumping and climbing well how the hell are you planning on getting down I'll find a way you got any better ideas all right go but I'm saying right now, I don't like this. Come on, William. William, why didn't you tell me what Mendoza had planned? Thomas asked me to keep it quiet. He said you talk too much. <laughs> Someone is not being frank here.
All right, here it goes. Get inside, William. Lord, be merciful with us. What's that? Landslide! Look out! Oh, Jesus Christ! Take him out, I'm covering you. Everybody still breathing? God damn it, I want out of this coffin. Damn, brother, save some for me. It ain't my fault you're so damn slow.
Nice shooting. Thanks. This coffin. That bastard was mine. We're running out of time. Look at those beauties. Yeah, and the best part is, they're on the damn ground. Let's take them and get out of here. in like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. How about this time you shut your mouth and let me do the thinking? Oh, is that what you've been doing? Thinking. On my command. Now! I shot! Maybe they're too far away. This has got to be the highest goddamn mountain I ever rode down.
gather the men, Sergeant. We should catch up with them by day's end, sir. I don't want to catch them, Sergeant. I want to follow them. To the Apaches? To that medallion. The riches it promises could help us to resurrect the Confederacy. We could raise a great army and break free from the tyranny of Washington, D.C. The carpetbaggers will be driven from our land, and the darkies will be back in bondage where they belong. We tracked down Juarez and I expected violence, but he told us that he had no idea that the Colonel wanted us dead. He claimed that Barnsby lied to him as well. I'm not sure my brothers believed him, but then they never really trusted him in the first place. Besides, Juarez had the girl and was leading us to the medallion. It served Ray's purpose to keep the peace. As we continued on our way, there was a tense silence whole situation made my skin crawl. Seeing Farther was the only one I could talk to. And then one night he just up and disappeared. We had no choice but to continue on without him. Deeper into a wilderness few white men had ever seen. No trace. It doesn't make sense. Maybe he went to take a piece and the Comanches got him. If that was the case, we'd already be dead. Come on, let's go. If he's still alive, he'll catch up with us. Go where? You know how to find that Apache village? To the huge weeping rock. That's what he told me. That's where the Apaches are. You see, we'll find it. You probably can see it for miles. Let's take a look around. Look. The Weeping Rock. That's gotta be it. But we gonna have to go around those hills. Well, let's go. and find a place to cross the river. I guess we don't need your half-breed anymore. Mount up and keep your eyes open. Stay close to the wagons. They say you can't see a redskin until he cuts your throat. No, no, no. They don't cut throats. They scalp. They cut. They scalp. They fill you full of arrows. They crack skulls open with hatchets. What are you trying to do? You scare me? Not trying, Pancho. Succeeding. Indians! They're in the bushes! Where? I can't see any! Stop the wagons! What did you see? In the woods, I saw one! Amigos, can you go see what Pancho was so afraid of? Right. Get a move on. Indians, right.
Your men can't tell the difference between a man and a bird. I'm telling you they're here. I can smell him. And I can smell someone pissing their pants. Amigo, calm down. It's better to be careful. Vamonos, let's go! Well, calma, day. We'll have a talk with him. Take it easy. You want an arrow in the back, amigo? Did you see? There! Kill it, Pacho! Kill the savage! Chingada! You still say there are no Indians here, amigo. Well, I didn't say there weren't. I said that someone pissed his pants, and I was right. Come back, you pendejo. The bastard's going to bring back his whole tribe. Mount up! Move! We better find a way over the river. Back in the road! That doesn't look too safe. Not so quick. That all um
Where's the second wagon? I don't know. It raced across the river. Maybe your brother panicked. And maybe they were carried away by the horses. We gotta follow them. You go on alone while we push the wagon out. Move! We better split up! Say, William, I'll follow the girl. We'll meet at the wagon. But don't you let me down, Thomas! Go now! Go, go, go! William? <laughs> William! Where's the second wagon? I don't know. It raced across the river. Maybe your brother panicked. And maybe they were carried away by the horses. We gotta follow them. You go on alone while we push the wagon out. Move! We better split up! Say, William, I'll follow the girl. We'll meet at the wagon. But don't you let me down, Thomas! Go now! Go, go, go. William? <laughs> William! Oh, thank God. I ran away. I left her. Uh, Thomas will find her. We'll meet up at the wagon. Just follow me and do what I say. Quick! Follow me. Keep close. Damn thieves. What happened? Redskins took the wagon. Come on. And Thomas? We're, we were supposed to wait here. There's no time. We'll find them. William, hide!
Okay, we can go. Come on! Quiet! Are you? Maybe. You don't need to be. Right now, Juarez needs me and Ray. Whatever happens, you know I'll protect you. I think she already has a good protector. Now, I warned you, brother. Don't you let me down. Ray? What you doing here? You left the wagon? No, the Comanches took it. So we can go back to Mendoza? Yeah, but what for? For the rifles. The Apaches will trade us the medallion for them, remember? Ah, those rifles. You mean the ones we don't have. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's us, damn it! Marisa! I thought they had killed you, like my men. You two are tough! It's the second time you rescue my Marisa, and I go and take you for Comanche. Where is my wagon? The Comanches took it. Maybe they'll leave us alone now. Listen, friend. I'm grateful that you saved my woman. But now we need to save the wagon. There's 100 rifles on it. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, they couldn't have gotten far. Mount up, amigos. At least they won't bother covering their tracks. Get a move on!
We got him now. They don't seem too worried. You see that rock over there? You climb up there and I'll flush him out. And we'll see how worried they are then. All right, let's take that wagon. Go right. They stopped. What the hell? Why aren't they chasing us? Look around, amigo. Weeping Rock. See, si, amigo. This is Apache territory. Those Comanche don't need another enemy. Amigo, I think your god is watching over us. We made it through Comanche territory, and yet we still have our scalps. Of course he's watching over us. He loves us. All of us. Even you. There are no evil men. Only evil deeds. Evil depends on your point of view. The savages here see us as white devils. Yet, because we bring them rifles, they welcome us with open arms. Friends, easy. Sing farther. Tell your brothers we are not enemies. We have your weapons, your rifles. There will be no deal, Snake Tongue. You tried to trick us. This weapon does not work. One rifle, one of 300. None of them work. No, this isn't necessary. Pocky hole. 
kill them all. No, father. This is the young shaman who warned me of their treachery. That little bastard. Father, please. The young shaman is my friend. He betrayed his own kind to protect our people. And for this, what should his reward be? Their lives. Please, spare their lives. The young shaman's heart is so big it covers his eyes. But as he's seeing father's friend, I will do as he wishes. The great Apache war chief, Running River, spares your lives. Leave our land. We will take your horses, your weapons, and your wagons as ransom. And the woman. What? Running River wants your woman. Juan. As you're the only one Juan. who knew of the rifles. No. You're the only one who could have betrayed Juan. me. Take her. Beat her. <laughs> Enjoy her. For she is a lying whore, and that is all she is good for. The young shaman and his kin can stay in our camp and rest their horses, or they should not expect a warm welcome. <laughs>